r and beers it's the Christmas episode. Um, we're going to do things a little different because 2020 has been pretty different. I mean, really. Um, so we're going to have a couple of little surprises for you. So stay tuned. So this year we had a couple of big hitters. Uh, that we had happen here, you know, you know, r &B reptiles. We had some really awesome snakes. We had a bunch of lorry clutches, which were really great. Um, we had a, a handful. Why don't we, we show a couple clips of some of the highlights, just real quick. So we're here at the Chicago Reptile House, uh, Brian Potter's place, because we're doing a little Tinley Underground. Hashtag Tinley Underground. I like that. Um, Keep that so, going. <laughs> uh, yeah, so make sure you guys follow us around. I'm here with Chase. And uh, Justin's running around here somewhere, and we're gonna be uh, showing you some of the cool animals and the cool stuff they got here. Looking forward to it. Yeah, it's man. Be fun. Let's check yeah. it out. Let's do it. We gotta ask, what do you think uh, the future is for the lace project? Because we're we're buying into the lace project. We have some lace stuff. And did, um, you, did I sell you on it too much when you're in my place? Is that uh, we we did see some, and you know it's funny because we're like, oh, we like lace. They're cool, I guess, but we never really. And then when we saw some of the stuff you're doing with it, yeah. we're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. We should probably get into it, and so we bought a white lace male, and then we bought a couple of lace females, and right. you know stuff like that. So, what do you think the the future is in the lace project? Well, I'm just trying to find find out with everybody else, but I just love the super so much that mm -hmm. it almost works like a code on Desert Ghost. And, you know, we all know how much we love yeah. Desert Ghost right now, um, and to be able to have that like almost almost a code on version where you could you know know what you have when you're making them and everything. It's really really cool. Yeah, Plus they got a cool true. pattern aspect to them, of course, as well. Yeah. Um, but then if we could maybe combine the lace and the desert ghost and double the effect. Um, yeah, it's and probably that, awesome. some of that cool stuff towards the future. So they don't sell anything in rooms, but they do show things off in the rooms at <laughs> hashtag Tinley Underground. What's up, YouTube? We have an amazing video for you today. We're cutting one of our most anticipated clutches of the year. Um, of our this, career. Of our career, even. So this is a pastel lorry, and we're cutting it, her clutch, to a lorry enchi banana. What? Well, the bananas there are it is. D A N A. You can see it already. Yeah, this is wow. Super, wow, that one's real crazy looking. Look at all that noise. Show the folks. Show the folks. I'm trying to make sure the lighting's good. I love Dang. all that noise in there, man. Female, female, female. That could be the Enchi version. <laughs> you shut your mouth. I don't see Enchi in this. Okay. One more, one more to get an Enchi. It like screams. I'm not even going to show you. It's going to be a surprise. Okay. Okay. I'll keep the camera up here. It's a, it's a banana. We hit it. Did Holy we? Holy crap. That's everything. No, wow, wow. Oh, crap is this? snap. That's a banana super lorry pastel. Enchi. No, I don't know. That is a banana wow. super lorry Do you pastel see this? for sure. Dude. I'm so glad that you held that back like to, Holy as a surprise. Holy crap. Look at this thing. Wow. That's insane. This one will be staying here at R&B Reptiles. Wow. Look at that crazy pattern. It's the head. It's black eyes. Poking his little heady poo out. Oh man, that is dope. This is nuts, man. Oh, just think how that thing's going to color up too. Oh, that's going to be great. I'm so happy we hit the super banana, the super lorry banana. So we're over here at the Toronto Reptile Expo and uh, pet show and we're gonna show you guys around we're here with one of the promoters this is carrie and from kb reptiles so we'll be showing you guys around stay tuned so we're here with will from royal canadian reptiles and he's behind us and uh he's one of the big breeders as well here in <laughs> canada uh he's some really awesome animals he works with you know desert ghost and puzzle and uh cryptic and he has um, obviously a bunch of other things as well we're here with canadian cold blood um, just want to give a little shout out to Adeline Robinson. Uh, thank you for you know pointing us this way. But so I'm holding an Indonesian blue tree monitor here. And this is a young one here. And how big do these get? Uh, 36 inch, give or take. 36 inch. So they're they're not terribly large. I mean, it's 
a good size. I think it's a great size as a pet. Um, something that we're, we're kind of looking to maybe add to one of our collections. Uh, a little tough for us to get in uh, from Canada right now, but we do have some in the United States. And uh, these guys are like premier for making, you know, some monitor stuff, right? That's what you guys That's, that's kind of what I'm known for, yeah. Yeah, yeah the monitors for sure. We can do it in normal speed. It's going to be extra slow. The reason we're in Canada is right here. So we came to see Carrie and Barris and from KB Reptiles. They've uh... All right, guys, we made it. We're at Mutation Creation here in Canada. Billy's just over there. We're kind of like snooping around the collection right now. So we're gonna take you around to see some of the awesome animals he's produced. Already blown away, we've only been here for like 10 minutes. That's sick. Holy cow. Super Enchi, fight or fly, freeway. Wow. Freeway, when it, it the, the head doesn't even look like it belongs to the body. And I love it that it does that. What the heck is going on there? It's crazy. Yeah, Ozzy has one similar to this. Het pied as well. Like, so nice. He's, I think he's got it up on Morph Market, but just, yeah, awesome. All right, guys. I know you've seen this animal before. Unfortunately, it's in a shed, but this is beautiful. Leopard monsoon. Look, the pattern goes onto the belly. Just speckled everywhere. Growing like a weed too, look at this thing, it's huge. It's our MO for it to be in shed. <laughs> um, this blew my mind when I first made it, and it's this one here. I made two. I don't know if they're yellow belly or asphalt, so I'm proving them out this year. Okay, oh yeah. I Heck. believe it to be a super orange dream calico, asphalt or yellow belly. But just look wow. at the oranges. Coming yeah. up from the belly. Those burnt sides. Yeah, Holy Dave cow. Levinson, eat your heart out here. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. So, man, like, is just there any other possibilities? That that asphalt's almost acting like a little bit like the cinnamon. Yep. Now here is another one. So it came from a freeway. Goodness. So still same rich, beautiful oranges coming up from wow, the side. Just unbelievable right here. This. And you can see the calico. Yeah. This one here is more heavily, you know, with the calico. This mm -hmm. one here a little less, lower lower expression, but still very, you know, high expression, but mm -hmm. not as high as this. And I know you guys have seen his videos, so we're going to put his links in the description below. Um, definitely, yeah, not a thumbs down. Yeah, just what am I doing? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I should have pointed down. What did I do? <laughs> Jeez. I, sc I don't only screw up in my own videos. I screw up in yours, too. No, At least fine. I'm consistent, eh? Yeah, that's good. I think I screwed up in Gavin's video, too, didn't I? Well, yeah, uh, I'm consistently screwing up in every video. It's all right. just we, we, and there's Austin laughing. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's so, awesome, Jim. We had a really fun year, even though we kind of got trapped and couldn't go out and visit a whole bunch of people. Uh, it was a little bit different than what our plans were. Definitely changed how this YouTube channel went for sure. You know, yeah. we like to travel around and like feature collections and different little adventures mm -hmm. that were going on, and that kind of got. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Um, but we persevered. We did. We did. We got to Canada first, you know, in the beginning of the year, so that's. We made it to Tinley. We did make it to Tinley. Um, <laughs> Tinley wasn't there for us, but we made it to Tinley. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it was Tinley Underground. Tinley Underground. Um, so, yeah, we had some fun stuff though. I mean, and we're hoping that you guys are all having fun uh, and, and aren't getting sick. You're staying safe and, and healthy. Uh, Ryan had a, a... Avoid that one, man, if you can. <laughs> so Ryan got sick. Uh, I have yet I have yet to get sick. Um, I've been dodging it left and right. I have a bunch of people, uh, friends and family that have gotten it. and You're magically dodging a bullet. Magically delicious seconds. is what I am. Magically, like, I'm like Lucky Charms over here. <laughs> Strawberry schnickles? Yeah. 
Oh, I love me strawberry sniggles. Oh, I hope nobody ever gets my hands on me and tries to steal my strawberry sniggles. I'm gonna eat every last one of them because, and then they'll be in my stomach and nobody will ever be able to eat them except for me because they're gonna be all inside my stomach. At the beginning of this year, Ryan and I really had a big plan to help out US Ark in different ways, um, which was kind of first quarter, we were starting to talk about it, and then COVID happened. And we really didn't get off the ground. I mean, we really try to promote US Ark. We talk about it in Herp House Rock. Mm -hmm. um, we talk about it in our videos. Um, there's links everywhere that we have stuff. We have US Ark links. But we just want to mention it here for Christmas. If you guys can, go into US Ark and, you know, help out either buy some of their um, clothing or buy somebody a membership for the year as a Christmas present yeah yeah buy a membership uh, buy just donate some money you know tell people about it go on they have things you can sign petitions where you take their their information and you email it uh, that whatever the script is that they give you to either your local um, authorities of sorts or you can send it to like Michigan's having a thing right now that you know, we're, the U.S. Arc's trying to fight. So mm -hmm. make sure you guys go in there, participate, be part of the, the solution to all this. This is why we do what we do and why we're able to do what we do is because people like U.S. Arc are out there fighting for our rights to, to keep animals. So make sure you guys do that. U.S. Arc right here. It's true, I forgot kind of that I had this on. <laughs> we don't have Christmas stuff on. I just moved, actually, and uh, all my stuff is packed up. And I forgot it was Christmas. So. Yeah. <laughs> Ben's like, is, Dude, this Christmas year? is like a couple days. I'm like, what? Yeah, this is the Christmas episode. It's just crazy. Uh, this year's been really nuts. So, in the spirit of Christmas, though, we want to do something special for somebody out there. And uh, Ryan, why don't you talk about it? <laughs> hey, we're gonna give away an animal. Yeah. So we talk about, you know, like what's successful and how people do things on YouTube and things like that and Instagram. And a lot of people do giveaways. We gave away a ton of stuff. Um, last year. Last year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was last year. Yeah. We gave away a ton of stuff like yeah, racks. Summer and, giveaways. Yeah. It was all, pretty incredible. All difference was, I mean, thousands of dollars of stuff we gave away. And uh, people will ask us, you know, does that help it? Your channel? Does that help, you, help your business? Um, it helps a little bit, like it gives us goodwill, people maybe know who we are, but it didn't really um, do what we were hoping it would do in terms of the business, but it did help out like people that got the giveaways. I mean, that's fun stuff. Uh, so what we said is, we're gonna, what we want to start doing, what I, I thought was a good idea, and Ryan is uh, agreeing with me, we've had a lot of people help us throughout the years of like with, uh, you know, giving us advice and... Um, showing us around, inviting us into their homes, all sorts of stuff like that. And uh, we like to give back and do things like that for other people. So I said, why don't we give away a snake to somebody that we know in the, you know, in the community, in the hobby, in the industry, um, that's kind of starting out or still find their way and do something that we like, give them a project that we like or a really cool snake or something um, every year. So I was thinking that we should start doing that every year. And Ryan's like, uh, really, is that what you want to do? So. Yeah, I agreed to this. Yeah. <laughs> He's telling me about it right now. I agreed to it. No, you... Well, I gave him the idea mostly, but... Uh, you, you said, oh, yeah. I don't know. On board it's, 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 it's expanding. I guess I'll give it one away, now I'll do it every year. <laughs> then what? Hey, man. It's always about trend setting. Hey. Annual trend setting. We definitely have animals. We definitely have animals. So, why don't we show the animal that we're going to give away real quick? We want to do a project animal. So a project that's near and dear to our hearts. Ryan, you can say. Arroyo. That's right. We have this almost, I mean. Matt Cleaver would uh, be breeding this one, by the way, <laughs> um, at the size, but. That's going to get salty. You keep bringing his name up. <laughs> he is producing sperm. Yeah. So he could sigh or clutch if you so chose to breed him at this mm -hmm. size which you can do with care just pay attention don't just you know leave it in there and let it get crushed by a six thousand gram female or something mm -hmm. but hey a royal male and a royal male and do you want to talk about how we the identifiers for a royal real quick actually i've been asked a lot uh, lately about the identifiers for a royal so you get a 
much darker tone overall mm -hmm. in the animal. You'll see a lot of dorsal striping with dots and islands inside of it, which Ben likes to call putting greens. Yeah, putting greens, that's right. You will find that in general, the bottom quarter, I guess that's a quarter or a third of the animal is lighter, like a golder tone. You'll get all these little thumb prints that our buddy Phil from Powerline named them thumbprints, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Coming up off of the belly. <laughs> He's been real cooperative. So it's like these white outlines that a pattern that just goes up off the belly. Normally you'll have a dirtier belly. Ryan calls it popcorning on the belly. I don't call that popcorning. What do you call popcorning? See how the white from the belly popcorns up to the sides? Oh. And it sort of looks like the top of a popcorn bag with it overflowing. <laughs> Actually, I've all this time thought that's not what you were talking about. That's I get what it I call now. popcorning. Popcorn <laughs> belly. <laughs> so you guys catch that? <laughs> it's that white, the white patternless part that pops up the belly. See like right here where you see, I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, but you see where that bubbled up white from the belly coming up into that? black area mm -hmm. popcorn belly popcorn belly so there's a, uh, a little bit of talk going on about this being a lelic with things and we haven't really proved that out exactly yet and uh, so it's a fun project to be in not a ton of people are working in it there's a lot of potential um, we have a big year next year coming up maybe some this year but next year is gonna be huge for us with the Arroyo project um, got a lot of fun stuff but yeah. we want to give this away to somebody that we're just gonna, you know, force them to get into the project. If I was giving away a skill of snake, I would give it to Best Dressed Balls, but we're not doing that one, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna let you guys know, but um, I don't know if we, do we wanna say on camera who we wanna say, give it to? I don't know who we're giving it to. We're just gonna give it to them, and we'll, we'll update you guys later on how that went. Well, maybe we'll get them to video it. A little unboxing video we can splice yeah. in. <clears throat> So we'll let you guys know how that goes, but it's just something that we want to do, you know, in the spirit of giving and in the spirit of uh, friendship and, and just a community, you know, just for free, just give out something to somebody that's, you know, just starting out or, or is not into this project or has had a really tough year, something like that. So I think we're going to do that every year. I think it'd be a good thing to do. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas with your families or whatever you're celebrating. We'll be celebrating Christmas, but everything's cool. We like to celebrate all kinds of things. I kind of went off the so, rails here. Yes, you did. Uh, <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please give us a subscribe. Share this channel with your family. Watch Sharp House Rock. That's right. And congratulations, person. Who won this snake? Yeah, we're gonna make it a uh, surprise. So, I'll just leave it on their porch and knock and run away. Uh, that actually would be really fun to do, but I, it might be somebody that's not close enough that we would drive to their house. But maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. <laughs> John Danner, you're getting into. Oh, he's already into the right project. We got man. John in the yeah, right project already. <laughs> so thanks so much, guys. We'll yeah. catch you next time. Yes, thank you, guys. Merry Christmas. So we are really into nah, 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 nah. okay. We are really into butts. Big butts. Okay. Just something cool, something nice. I mean we can um, bring it up at the board meeting, for sure. <laughs> You're the chairman of the board. What am I supposed to do? <laughs>